Hey y'all, Irick Sky here, and if you've watched my channel for a while, you know that I'm always excited about new drones that are coming out. And also, even though I love DJI, and at the time of posting this video, the DJI Mavic Air is my favorite drone on the market today, even though I love DJI, I'm not a DJI fanboy. I feel that DJI deserves competition. We've got a lot of, we had a lot of would-be competitors step up, including GoPro, that failed epically. They never, uh, they never had a fighting chance, and it was a shame. It was a shame to see such a, such a large, such a successful company, such as GoPro, fail when they entered the, in the, entered the uh, drone space. But this video is about a company that a lot of you may not have heard of. It's called Autel, A-U-T-E-L. Now, I've been impressed. Now, some of the, let's step back a little bit. So some of the original Autel offerings, they, they basically looked like, and I hate to I hate to say this, but they basically look like they had tried to impersonate the Phantom design, the DJI Phantom design. You know, an imitation is often the best form of flattery. You know, if somebody's trying to imitate, that means they're probably impressed. So I wasn't impressed with that. But what they did announce, what Altel did announce during 2017 CES was a drone that had a uh, a modular camera. It had three. Uh, I think it had a spherical camera on it. It looked really, really cool. But since that was unveiled at 2017 CES, I haven't heard anything else about it. So I'm assuming that drone was scratched. Uh, all, we hear, all we hear about now, at least all I hear about now from Autel, is this drone called the Evo, E-V-O. Now, I, I hate to say this, because again, DJI deserves competition, but I can't make myself feel excited about the Evo. Because the Evo, it's not the drone from 2017 CES. What happened to that? I like the modular camera. I mean, it was a bigger drone, keep in mind. Drones have become a lot smaller since 2017 CES. But I like the idea that it was modular and it, it promised a 360 degree camera, but it never materialized. So the fact that something from 2017 CES never materialized, what makes me think that the drone that was touted at 2018 CES, the Autel Evo, is ever going to materialize. And if it does, I, I mean, I, I'm personally not interested in it. And, and again, a lot of y'all have asked, hey man, are you getting the Evo? Are you getting the Evo? Are you getting the Evo? I have no desire to get the Evo. And it's, it's not like I have anything against the company or against the design. It's just that you know, sometimes you just get a funny feeling about something. I just got a funny feeling about it. I, I don't know why. Sure, I can understand going for that drone to help possibly promote competition for DJI, which could potentially create price wars. Again, could potentially cause more rapid innovation. Whereas DJI is just kind of sitting happy right now. It's like, oh, we're selling our Mavic Air like hotcakes. We don't have to innovate. <laughs> Mavic Pro 2? <laughs> see you in a few years you know that kind of attitude but if you got a lot of companies popping up like parrot with the parrot anafi i'm excited about the anafi i have ordered the anafi but until i get the anafi in my hands i won't have a, a true opinion about the anafi but the evo mm, i don't know and i don't know and maybe i'm wrong you know maybe the evo will be the thing that'll dethrone DJI and maybe it'll have all this new tech and it'll be super reliable but I don't know I just don't I can't I can't get on the on the Evo bandwagon and 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 part of that is due to you know when you go out and you look on the internet and you and you research it I mean for every and I'm not trying to overgeneralize here but for for every positive, seemingly positive comment in regards to the Evo, there's likely a thread of negativity. Where is it? Where is it? Why haven't you released it? Blah, 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 blah. This, that, and the other. And communications is, is key when I'm, you know, when I'm interested in a product. Communications is, is on the top of the list when it, you know, when it comes to jumping into the unknown with a, with a tech product like a drone. And I just... I don't know if, if they're really on their A game. I mean, if, if I was releasing a product, I think I would, I would be going out and, and trying to politely combat 
all of this negativity, this perceived negativity online about it. And I, I just, I haven't seen that. And, you know, maybe I'm wrong and, you know, maybe all tells not crying wolf. Maybe this Evo is coming and maybe it's going to be the best thing since, uh, since ranch dressing for a chicken wing, you know? I mean, I don't know. I mean, I just, I, I don't, I, there's certain things that I can't really explain, and this is one of them. I don't know why, I don't know why I'm not interested in the Alltail Evo. But why did I take the plunge for the Parrot, uh, Parrot Anafi, even though it's not a DJI? You know, why did I plunge for Parrot, yet I'm not interested in Evo? And, and I think a lot of that goes to, you know, Parrot, Parrot's been around for a while. Now, ultimately, they're kind of, they've kind of, earn the badge of toy drone manufacturer. I mean, obviously drones are not toys, they're aircraft, they should be used safe and responsibly, but Parrot's kind of earned that because they're Bebops, they never had a gimbal, they had a software stabilized video, nowhere close to the quality of a gimbal stabilized camera on a DJI drone. But I think Parrot's realized their pitfalls, and I think they're about to let the bird out of the cage with an Afi, and I think that you know, if, if they execute well, if it's a quality product, it could do exceptionally well just because they do have name recognition. And that's something right now with Alltel, and I, and I wish Alltel the best, but, you know, Alltel doesn't have, to my knowledge, that name recognition like Parrot has. And they definitely don't have anything like DJI has. Nobody has, no drone manufacturer on the market today has, a, has, a, has name recognition like DJI. You know, when you see... When you see a drone, even if you're not a drone person, you see, uh, you're talking to somebody, it's like, man, do you know what a drone is? And they're like, yeah, I think I've seen one of those. Is that that, is that, that white thing that's got the little legs on it? It's got like four things. They can see in their mind what a drone looks like, and their mental image for a drone is more than likely a DJI Phantom because that's become the mainstream drone. You know, it's, uh, so, I don't know. I mean, I'm not... And, and correct me if I'm wrong. If my assumptions about Alltel Evo are, are incorrect, tell me. Tell me why I should. Why should I love Alltel Evo? Why should I give Alltel Evo a chance? I mean, I love drones. Why should I do that? You know, y'all tell me. You know, this, this channel is not, it's, it's whatever y'all want it to be. And, you know, I'm not here, I don't have an allegiance to anyone. You know, whether it's DJI or Parrot or Alltel or GoPro or or uh, Jim and Joe Bob's drone startup on startup website that, that never materializes. Oh, speaking of that, y'all remember that drone called the Lily, L-I-L-Y, Lily Camera? <laughs> that thing never made it to market. And that, you know, that kind of, and it, at its time, it kind of looked cool because it even though it didn't have 4K video, it... Uh, it came out at a time when 4K was just becoming popular, so it wasn't a deal breaker. But it never hit, never hit the streets. So, anyway, uh, speaking of drones, hey Sean Cunery, what is your personal opinion, sir? Whoa, ah, big man coon. Ow, oh, oh, ow. Do you want a parrot, or do you want an Alltel Evo? What do you want to fly? He said he wants to fly the drone. Look at me. <laughs> so there you have it. Tell me what you think. Are my opinions that are my opinions in regards to the Alltel Evo ridiculous? If so, why? If not, why do you agree? And tell me what I should do. You know, tell me. Don't tell me what I should. Tell me what I should do if you want to. That's fine. But tell me why you feel I should have a positive or negative opinion in regards to Alltel Evo. I still want to see the drone. I would like to see the Alltel drone from CES 2017. If they release the drone, I'd like to see it first. And then let's move on to the Evo. Where's that drone from CES 2017? So thanks for watching and check the link within this video's description. You can find drones and a whole lot more. And uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. It's youtube.com forward slash irixguy. Y'all have a good day.
Hey y'all, Irix Guy here. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe, like, and share. It's viewers like you that enable my channel to continue to grow. Thank you.